My name is Seamus McMillan and this is my life of theatre. With me today are me, myself and I. And do you know why that is? Because I'm in training. In training for what, you may ask? Well, I'm going to show you. You may also notice I've got shorter hair. That's also because I'm in training, you know, when you don't want long hair getting in the way of everything when you're trying to train for something. The thing I'm training for, by the way, uh, is an audition. A rather important audition, I might add, uh, for a musical. And the name of that musical is uh, Fame. You may or may not have heard of it. Uh, I myself did not hear of it. I had no idea it existed. But, you know, now that I'm auditioning for the bloody show, I have to know that it exists. So, uh, the first step, and really, is a step that I should have taken quite some time ago, uh, is to take the music that I got on the CD. Um, I suppose you could call it my audition CD. It hasn't got the complete show because that very rarely happens. Uh, it's very rare that you get either a complete script or a complete soundtrack for just an audition. Uh, however, for this one I did get a complete script uh, or at least access to a complete script, which is a bit strange, but uh, I'm not complaining, you know. It just gives you... It's better than having, you know, snippets of a script out of context because as every actor can tell you, or at least every actor uh, who, almost every theatre actor who isn't familiar with the production that they're auditioning for, uh, and if the director doesn't allow them to read the scripts on the, in, the, uh, in their spare time, uh, the first thing you do after you get hold of your character and your lines is you go and you research like mad. Uh, you will YouTube things, you'll Google things. This is especially true for uh, uh, college and high school level productions. Uh, it's particularly true for those. But anyways, the first action that I'm going to take is I'm going to take that CD and I'm going to put it on my music player, as you may or may not see about my uh, neck at the moment. I was just listening to Grease, which was coincidentally... Christ on a cracker, I just dropped it. I've dropped it. I was listening to Grease, which is coincidentally the last show I was in. Got to look at myself. Coincidentally, Greece was the last show I was in. And, um, yeah. It was a decent time, I suppose. Not the, not the most fantastic of times, but, and again, it could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Could have been in uh, Rent or Hairspray. <laughs> no offence to you Rent or Hairspray fans, of course. Oh, good lord, I've got a text message. Got well, two text messages. I'm popular. Not really. Uh, they're they're musical related. Sadly, all of my friends are. I don't know if I can call them friends. All of my acquaintances. They only talk to me because of the musical and things like that. I've currently converted this space to kind of my training room, my workout room. You can see I've got some weights there. This is not Minute Maid lemonade. It's actually a secret mix of um, Gatorade and an ancient Indian remedy that uh, will restore your voice if you've lost it, which is very useful for someone who is um, who's singing a lot, as I am, trying to trying to learn songs. Uh, actually, I'll be drinking that stuff like it's water the entire course of the production. It's just a side effect of singing a lot. Uh, and well, basically that's that. That's an update on my life. Uh, and a bit later I'm going to get changed because I've got a... Um, I've got a meeting of sorts and I'm going to meet a person and it's not really a hanging out but I'm not sure what else to call it. It's a meeting, basically. It's a meeting. Uh, we're going to go to Panera Braid and then to the, the library afterwards. Um, but that's irrelevant. You're not going to see that. It's very unlikely. You're not going to see that. Uh, basically, that's all I wanted to say. I'm in training for a very important musical audition. I got to stop looking at myself. I do it far too often, looking at myself. Um, I'm in training for a musical audition. Um, hopefully that goes well. If it does go well, then you'll hear about it because that's just the way it goes. You may actually hear about it weeks or possibly months late, but I'll try to be on the spot about that. Uh, I still haven't found a signature sign-off for uh, for my videos. 
the most innovative thing I could come up with was uh, throwing the camera, just just throwing it at a wall or a soft surface, and then editing out the picking it up afterwards. But that's all irrelevant. This, my name is Seamus McMillan. This has been my life of training for theatre. It's not a life of theatre yet, it's a life of training for theatre. Um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you like. Favourite, just because this is your favourite, you know it is. Because everyone loves a Scottish accent. <coughs> and I'm getting sick, if you can't tell. My voice will sound strange, it's because I'm getting sick. <coughs> Although for the production I'm doing, pop... Uh, Surprise fact, <clears throat> for the production, for the production I'm doing, I'll need to do an American accent, which will be interesting because I don't like American accents, I think they're boring, bore, I'll work on that later by myself, but I'm, like I said, I'll work on it later by myself, accents are, are kind of a, a hobby of mine, I do them quite often. Um, I'll leave you to whatever it is you are doing before the video came on. Uh, my name's Seamus Mill and this has been my life of theatre. Uh, I bid adieu to you and the rest of you lot. That was an awful ending. Good God. I'm not going to explain why I'm so out of it. I'm just going to say goodbye.